Like you need a tool in, in, in introduce how to uh, clamp in the workpiece and adjust the tooling. First, uh, usually the, the workpiece we use the three jerk uh, chuck uh, to clamp in the workpiece for one workpiece. So you can put the workpiece, then use the chuck to clamp it. After clamping, the, uh, you check your workpiece the height. If the workpiece height is just one, just 100 millimeter, you must check, you must check the, the stroke. The stroke is enough or not. So now we check the stroke. We check the stroke. The stroke, the, if the stroke is over, over the workpiece height, you, you don't need to adjust the, the, the stroke every time. If a bigger, bigger, bigger stroke is enough, okay, so, but now I introduce how to adjust the stroke. If we have a piece is very high, you must to check, check the, uh, to adjust the stroke. So, now we, we must to stop. Then stop, in a, then stop, you use a, a wrench to open, open the, Cover the side cover. The side cover inside have a driving driving wheel and the linking row, linking row here. So you can uh, move. You must to uh, move the, the this uh, here. This move the row. You can by menu to move here. They have a, a screw. The screw uh, the, the, the stroke adjusting screw. We have a uh, special uh, the tools for you to adjust the the stroke. So you must uh, to have uh, first uh, before uh, adjust the stroke, you must loosen loosen this one, loosen the uh, loosen the the, the linking roll. Then then you just uh, use the the special tool to adjust. Adjust the, adjust the linking row. Move the linking row inside the stroke short. Move the linking row out the stroke longer. The maximum is 300 or 350 according to each model. The after, after you fix, you fix the, the stroke, uh, to enough, enough your work, to slot in your work piece. Then, not to clamping, clamping wheel after adjust the stroke. After adjust the stroke, then it, it uh, tighten, tighten the, this the stroke, uh, adjust the stroke, this adjust the stroke, stroke is length, the top, top point to top at the button, the total length. After we adjust the, the stroke wheel, next we must uh, to check the position. The, per, the 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 rain running position. The rain can be run run the stroke at the, this position or this position uh, according to your workpiece. If your workpiece very high but slotting here, you can you must uh, move the rain to slot in the top. So you you now now we are we adjust we introduce you how to adjust the the floating position, we call it floating position. Uh, first, you must loosen, loosen the nut, the clamping nut. Loosen, loosen the, loosen the, the clamping nut, the, the block. Then use the handle to adjust, to move, move this up. This uh, move down, then this uh, in the top. Move high, is move down. To, so you can move, move here. After you adjust, we adjust the wheel. And after you adjust the wheel, not to clamp it. Clamp in uh, this block. It's very important, you must clamp in this one. But now, it's, uh, use the suitable, suitable power is enough. Then after, you check. After you check, you can, um, by menu, by menu, in, in uh, the step, you emerge it. 
you can use use and turn the, the switch to the zero back. It's a call is zero. Zero is a no no gear. You can use the the hand to move. Move move the, the, the fly wheel. Okay? Okay, it's the back. It's the top top button. After you check the top button, say yeah, okay, no touch, no no crush the work piece. And uh, no crush the chuck. Then okay, it's uh, I, I think it's uh, you can store it up. the cutter is over the work piece and the the, the rain no crush the work piece and the no tool no crush the chuck. I think it's uh, it's a uh, uh, it's good, it's a good correct the good uh, position. Okay, then we can Back. Then cut and uh, close the cover. Then we adjust after adjust. This uh, is well. We check. Use the jack. Use the jack in the menu to off. Oh, no, it is a uh, emergency. Emergency. Then turn up. Okay, test. Oh, it's good. Yes, uh, the bridge is, is correct. It's correct. Okay, we stop here. Okay, the tour now is adjust in the, the suitable position. Then next, we must uh, to adjust the tool, the tool, tool holder, slotting tools. The to slotting tool, you must uh, to have a rack, the tool, tool insert. We now we use the highest the tool bit. And uh, most important, uh, the tool drag, the tool, tool bit, the dips, the cutter dips. This the dips must uh, parable, parable is X or uh, dry angle is Y. So the never several uh, method to adjust the, this the dips uh, in the correct correct the operation. Now we introduce the uh, popular. Uh, method is use the dia gauge. We can use the, the dia gauge to put in uh, put in a uh, put in a uh, in a uh, in a uh, piece and then use the tip use the the, the point to to touch the rack the rack to to tap the rack. Then, then we can uh, move, use MPG, use MPG, then we turn, we turn the X, you turn the X, then to move, to move, then we can adjust the to touch, to touch, to adjust, uh, adjust, adjust, we can adjust the, the, the to check the parable. If the high or low, for example, it's a high, adjust, or it's a, this is a low. Low, you can, you can uh, rotate the tools. You can loosen. Loosen the, the loosen the nuts. Well, I, I just show you this nut to adjust. After testing, testing again and then again, until until the the rack is parable to X. It means it's the tool now is correct. Usually we adjust the to zero point zero two. It's okay. So now this is one measure to adjust the tool. After the tool is okay, we just clamping. We just clamping, clamping. Well. Okay, is, uh, then this is uh, to adjust the tool in uh, the square, the the, the red rack, uh, parable X. Then you can uh, adjust the tool, uh, uh, correct to cut in the work piece. This is we call it tool, tool, tool uh, setting. Okay, now we use the tool setting. It's okay. After tool setting, it's okay.
After uh, the two assassins, okay. Then we we uh, the tour and the uh, uh, Parisian stroke is correct. What piece correct? Then uh, next next unit uh, we would like to introduce the the how to the edit the program. But in the program the content they need they need uh, one uh, one one data is uh, where is the first floating point. So uh, now we show you how to get the first uh, floating point. For example, if uh, we would like to cut in the big, if we to cut in the big, biggest uh, keyway, use the small uh, tools. First, we must to, for example, this is six. This is uh, 40, 40.5. So we we must uh, to that the tool to uh, offset to here to touch. For example, for this one, it's uh, 40, 40 minus 16 is the uh, 42, uh, 22, 24, 24 minus 12. So we move to the. Here, then okay, we we just use jump. Okay, then we you move. You can you can buy to check from drawing or you test the uh, in the real workpiece. We call here. Now, now, if uh, now you can see that they have a sound. They have a sound is the first, uh, first, uh, first point in the drill. You can take move step. Use MPG to to test to test a little, a little. Then he, then here the first uh, the cutting. Sound. It means in this point is the first floating, floating uh, point. The first floating point had they have an X and the Y. So uh, after you get now after you then you can get then you can get the X X value data twelve point five and the Y is seven uh, seventy eight point seven. Then you can think okay this uh, we, we, we can. Uh, uh, not write down in the notebook and the later for uh, the, the first floating point you need to input from uh, in, in the program program uh, content so I, I show I talk you is the how to get the first floating point the this is a uh, uh, not uh, so the, this unit is uh, and uh, and uh, here and the next unit uh, we we to introduce how to how to edit the program. Now we uh, another another thing. So we adjust uh, the our uh, auto. This is a mechanical auto tool backing off device. The auto tool backing off device uh, is uh, use the mechanical uh, design. They have a bush inside. And they have a push inside, so use the fri fri friction, the power, to let the lever up and down to make the the tool back and. But uh, this, because there is friction, sometimes you must adjust the pushing, like you, you adjust the the gips. So this is loosen, you loosen the, the the push, then tighten. Then you see. You see that because now have a have a friction, then you tighten here. Therefore, so you can see the lever work. You you see here. You see here. They have a, in the back. In the back, back the tool back. Then the top return. So this is a mechanical mechanical uh, tool back off backing off device. But 
Please note, this the automatic, this is a mechanical tool uh, backing off device. Just only the tool direction in the uh, from. I call it the number one, the one, one, one direction. So the, if the other one, if we, maybe in the future, if you want to make a taper slotting, you, you, you choose that you move, uh, set the tools to a direction in uh, this, this direction or this direction. You can, you can stop, you can stop with the mechanical. Now we show you how to, how to stop. It's very easy, it's very easy, it's just, okay, we do that. We shouldn't stop the, you get it back in, stop the, loosen this one, then, okay, loosen the push, then no, no function. Then you can, you can use lever, lever spring inside, the spring inside, you can use the lever to tighten, the tighten the, the, this block with the ram, then the ram no move. And the light or no mechanical backing off device tighten here. Then after, but in the future, if you want to use the mechanical, it just turn, <coughs> turn. Then the spring work, working. That this is a mechanical uh, uh, backing off device. This for so you now. We show show if you adjust the pushing and here. They work. <coughs> this is mechanical. The machine we design have a, a mechanical tool backing off device. It's a, uh, because uh, uh, the tool mechanical tool backing off device is uh, reliable and uh, few trouble. But in the machine, we also we also design we design uh, no. The controller program auto back tool backing device function. It means it's a move by table. Move by table. If you stop, if you you stop, if you stop with the you don't want, you close. You you stop with the mechanical, the tool backing device. You can. You can we you can go to the controller. But your controller, they have a parameter, parameter, I show you again, parameter F6, parameter, then go to, go to parameter F5, then the parameter the, is a 3, 4, 0, 5, enter, they have a two backing off value, the unit is a mu, 0 0.0001 millimeter, so usually we set, 500, the message, 500 mil is a 0 .0, 0 0.5 millimeters. Enter. Then, if you set, if you have set the value inside, then the, the controller will move the table for backing off the function. So, customer can use the uh, mechanical and the controller, the, Table, table, program, servo motor, tool backing off device. So, but the maker, the maker, it uh, suggest if possible, you you please use the mechanical uh, tool backing off because uh, we don't. Uh, if you use the the table to move in, move out, often the bolt screw is the uh, uh, the working too much. It's uh, maybe five years, ten years is possible where then uh, effect the accuracy. So uh, if if possible, we suggest the uh, mechanical the tool backing off device. It's why we use the tool backing off for the customer. But some if you want to uh, make a taper slot, you must choose the this direction, the tool here, this direction, this direction. Of course. You cannot use the mechanical tool backing off device. You stop the mechanical tool backing off device and start the program. But not often. It's, uh, this uh, we to introduce the, uh, our tool backing off function. Mechanical and uh, also the, the, this is the programmable. 
But please note, uh, when you use the program mode, uh, the program move table to take it off, you must stop this mechanical. It's, uh, so this, uh, so I hope that you understand this function.